And the thing is, like, viewers, how, how many times you had family members that they had complete asshole, shit starter, backstabber, unloyal loyal type motherfucking piece of shit. But yet, Thanksgiving come around, they pretend to be nice. Christmas time come around, they pretend to be nice. Now after New Year's, they go back to being a stank, skank ass son of a bitch. See, I, I, I've been through all this stuff. Or those of you that got siblings that's older than you, which I do. This is how fucked up I knew my family was. My oldest brother been out of motherfucking prison ever since I was fucking 14 for the same fucking charges. The same fucking charges. They put this motherfucker up to tell me that my father is dead because he the oldest. I said this. That's why I, I, that's that's I said before to my viewers that can relate to this. Now, um, I, I hope it's safe for me to say that most of my viewers ain't went through it like this. But for those of you that have and still going through it, I hope that my real life situation continues to inspire you to stand strong and it's just you. I got a huge family. My family is huge as a motherfucker. I cut all of them loose. Fuck what they was talking about. My mother was trying to make me a mama's boy. Wasn't having that. I'm like, nope. You don't even keep your bills paid. We don't never have no fucking money. The water is always off. The electricity is always off. The gas is always off. Almost died one fucking time. Because again, my stepfather may rest in peace. Norma Beretti. She had ran him away. But he would come by and get a kerosene heater for us. And uh, the kerosene heater burnt out a few. And it almost killed me. You know, these, this is type of shit that I knew just by coming from the gutter of poverty. I knew I was going to have a hard way to go because I had to be honest. There just was a lot of things that I didn't know how to do and be able to extinguish. I knew I didn't know how to make money on my own or in large sums like Masterpiece, Snoop Dogg, P. Diddy, uh, just to name a few on that kind of money. So... It just, the shit was fucking easy. I, I really didn't expect to live this motherfucking long, to be honest with you. That's how fucked up it was. But I'm here to tell you, for those of you that are going through it, like the late Tupac said, keep your head up. You will get out. And I'm the first to tell you that if you running across siblings that's fake stabbing your ass in the back like my second oldest one, real fake type motherfucker. Just a fake ass bitch. My third sh shady guy, but he's the type where if I got a disagreement in him, I just won't have shit else to do with him anymore, even though I don't have shit to do with him because he's kind of a disappointment to me now because he all fucked up and he shouldn't have to be that way. But I'm using my second notice as an example. Real fake ass motherfucker. Like uh, Silk the Shocker said in... Um, one of his songs from No Limit when he said once you're fake you're always fake that fits that motherfucker to the clearest fucking description my oldest brother like I said when I was a kid he was already chasing girls and when I got to be grown I understood I never really kind of saw him he, he was getting money but when you have examples like with uh, Dr. Dre Snoop Dogg, Suge Knight uh, Diddy um, E-40, um, where blacks came from nothing and they still got their riches today. It forces me as a person to look at my older siblings deeper than I already did when I was six years old. It's something was psychologically wrong. My oldest brother had two large settlements before he got in a car accident. One of the drivers died and his leg got fractured and he came into a lot of money. He did some nice things. Don't get me wrong. He did. He bought all my brother cars, but he was broke like within a shit. I think like a, I was about 10 years old. 
shit, about 90 motherfucking days. We went from, he had a Trans Am. My other brother had a Torino. My other brother had a a nice uh, two-tone color, Nova. We went from that to motherfucking, I went out shoveling snow and paying for cash for the one that lost all this money. It was twice in a row. So like I said, I always knew something was wrong with my family. But again, the hardest part was waiting to become of age to get the fuck away from them with no motherfucking strings attached. Anytime I was trying to come up, my mother would always either threaten to kick me out or kick me out or fucking both. Uh, my father was always full of shit. Jack leg, small time motherfucker trying to be Joe Jackson in his own motherfucking way. He made Joe Jackson rest in peace. The only difference, Joe Jackson made the Jacksons who they are. So I came across a bunch of bullshit. The only structure positive light was my late stepfather, Norman Beretti. My mother never gave a fuck about him. He bought her everything that she always wanted. And she just never loved the man. So I'm like, okay, my stepfather's showing me, he taught me my first word he taught me how to spell was the word education. And he always said to maintain and there was nothing you cannot do if you put hard work into it. He gave me responsibilities and an allowance. He, he taught me what a man's supposed to be. See, I always viewed my late stepfather as a man. I never viewed my late father as a man. He, he did a lot of stupid ass shit. Well, for one... Um, the part about marrying my mother's best friend, she wasn't her friend any fucking way. Eh, all right, whatever. Now, I admit, it took me some time when I got grown. I understand why he left my mother the fuck alone. My mother just never wanted to be anything in her life, period. He did a lot of fucking up and a lot of stupid ass shit and I knew I had to get the fuck away from him. Because we had like got into it long before he passed away. I told him to have a good life because he was trying to tell me some shit about that I need to have something to do with my older brothers. And I'm like, man, fuck all that. This ain't the motherfucking Leave It to Beaver or the motherfucking Brady Bunch. I'm not listening to no motherfucking body but me. How many motherfucking times did I tell you that? As I said on the other video about this. Anytime that you got somebody that's trying to stick up for somebody that's a punk ass motherfucker like my second oldest brother, you cut their ass off too. See, for me, it's my way or no motherfucking way. Period. I'm from the gutter. And that's the way it's going to always be. So I'd rather keep it real to you, my viewers, than to sugarcoat anything. Because I know how fake motherfucking family members can be. And like I said, I have a huge family. And one of my sisters that's deceased, may she rest in peace, she was cool. She was real. Now, I thought from the woman background, she was, in my opinion, she was going to be the first woman millionaire in the family. Because she was tight. She, before she got killed in the car accident, she was tight. Um, Let me see. The other one, and like I said... I understand how fake family members can be. Take it from me. I got family in Michigan, Kentucky, St. Louis, Chicago. I got a huge ass motherfucking family. And I'm like, fuck all y'all. I'm being me. I don't give a fuck what you say. They was trying to shame me into what you shouldn't be doing that. I'm like, look, block. Okay. I don't got to listen to you. I ain't no motherfucking kid. And the ones that be trying to play you like that you never grow up and you ask them this if they try to play you like that when they're trying to play you like a motherfucking kid and you grown. Ask them when you was my age, you consider yourself a kid or an adult? They answer going to be adult. All right, well, get the fuck up off my dick, bitch. See, I'm keeping it real. 100, raw, uncut, unfiltered. You know, I know I talk a lot of shit and I like the joke and everything, but... I'm going to always put videos to get in your soul because of the fact I'm black and I understand that a lot of my viewers are probably the same color as me. To my ones that ain't, I appreciate your support. Continue to do so. But I, I know what it's like when you in a chaotic situation and your family is fucked up. 
Anytime you try to talk positive or try to talk about money or progress, my punk ass brothers would tell me some shit. Oh, yeah, we can do all that. And I call them the next day. Oh, let me call you back. The motherfuckers never call back. So I'm saying I understand where you at for those of my viewers that are in that situation. Like I said about uh, women, mothers hating on them. See, my mother played us against each other and praised the girls and kind of treated my brothers like shit. So in a way, um, I understand why they're like that. But by all no means, I will not bow down to them by being that way and having something to do with them. My oldest brother, he did a lot of good things with the money, but he's not good with money at all. Uh, like I said, my second oldest straight piece of shit. I don't even know why the motherfucker is still alive. He's full of shit. Fake ass motherfucker. My third oldest, last I saw him, man, it hurt to see how fucked up he was. Because before he went to college, he was uh, a gifted martial artist coming in with trophies that was fucking taller than me at the time. I looked up to him. Uh, he was in vocation uh, school, Crockett, destined to become great in the medical field. He had got a nice paying job, got his uh, car that my brother had bought him. He got an engine put in it, getting banked, everything straight, got fired. Guess why? Guess guess who he fucking listened to and got fucking fired? My stupid motherfucking ass father telling him to cheat on his fucking time card. See what I'm saying? I was just like, man, this is crazy. I'm like, well, I know I got to get the fuck away from them. Um, I'm, uh, let's see, 12 years old. Got a long ass time to wait, but that's what kept me going. So I'm putting this for every area because the black community is worse now because um, most black females and black women, they don't want to be uh, like how one of my viewers just put in the comment. They've been taught not to take a backseat to any man. So. That, that male figure is permanently gone. She want to be both, even when the male figure may have more money, but she feels she in competition and not as companion. Anyway, so I'm saying it to say this, it's even more fucked up now. So I'm going to bring that fire. Why? Because those of you that are going through it, I want you to continue to feel good that you got hope, that you are about to get away or that you've gotten away and that you stay in the fuck away. You know, dealing with blacks, that 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 family shit. No, nah, I gotta read the fine motherfucking print. The mind is just straight full of shit. Period. And they ain't gonna never have no motherfucking money. My oldest brother proved that, and I'm like, oh, I ain't down with being poor. Fuck that. I didn't like the shit when we didn't have gas or lights or electricity. The phone. I, I kind of really want to talk about it that much, but it would have been nice to have it because when I would go out to my father's on the weekend, because all the utilities was always on like a motherfucker, the phone was on, I could talk a little bit, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, I ain't doing this shit. I said, you know, my family trying to treat me like a motherfucking hell by talking about something that I need to have something to do with them and that we family and fuck what happened. I'm like, nah. I'm getting rid of them motherfuckers. As soon as I get of age, legal age, I'm the fuck out like the late Tupac said, time to smash out and peel out. So I'm saying that to say this. Y'all know what, if y'all uh, have fake family members in your family, always listen to my video if you in doubt. You know, if a sibling or any relative is messing you over or trying to get you to do shit you don't want to do, yeah, continue to plan because of Agenda 21, because of social media, because of automation. You don't have to really go through what I went through. There are all kinds of programs online that you can take your brilliant talents and make it happen. If you're too busy, don't got the money, they got all kinds of stuff out here where you can get straight and get away from it sooner than I did. I had to wait close to 21 years to get the fuck away from it. And it was a bitch. I almost died a few motherfucking times. I don't want you to go through that. You know, so uh, those of you who have parents that be talking crazy shit, that might hate you because you look exactly like uh, the, 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 uh, the the father in my case, you know, no, you, you, you know, hold on to your talents. Continue to uh, strengthen your craft. Continue. 
Keep going. Don't give up. You know, get away from them. I'll be the first to tell you, families is the worst one to cross you. Whereas like my late uh, play grandfather said, Tim said, he said, family will turn you every which way but loose when they know that you are destined to be great. And you are, you already know you're destined to be great. I'm destined to be great. And those of you that understand that, that's going through that bullshit with family, that's trying to come with that bullshit about the uh, blood is sticking in water and we family and all that, they fucking you over and it's, and being fucked over is not right. Dump they motherfucking ass. And if they don't understand that shit, file some restraint orders against they ass. And if that ain't enough, take they ass to court and, and go on and sue they motherfucking ass. That's right. Hit that motherfucking wallet in the purse. Get them to understand they need to raise the fuck up out your mix. Put your comments in the comment section. Don't you go anywhere.